Welcome in everyone, your Vegas Nation host Cassie Soto here as the Raiders have reported for day one of the team's off-season program. Here to tell us a little bit more about it is Raiders beat writer for the Las Vegas Review Journal, Vinny Bonsignor. Vinny, let's go ahead and start with the important question, the thing that fans want to know is how was the turnout for today's voluntary meetings, Vinny? Extremely high attendance uh, from what I was told. Uh, of the players that are under contract on the roster right now, about 98% showed up, which is a good number for this time of year. And all the key players, Derek Carr, Devontae Adams, Chandler Jones, Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, uh, were, were all in attendance uh, on the first day of what is a two week sort of phasing in period. They call it phase one, but it's a lot of conditioning and weight room work and some meetings, nothing on the field just yet, unless they're out there you know, running around with their strength and conditioning coach. Uh, but it's phase one of a three-phase program, um, and this one will last two weeks. So good attendance. Sir. Well, you mentioned a lot of the faces of the franchise showing up uh, on Monday, Vinny. Why is that important, especially under a new head coach? Yeah, I think, you know, they, everyone wants to set a, a great tone. I think they're, everyone's excited to get to work, um, especially with the expectations now, bringing in a Devontae Adams, bringing in a Chandler Jones to what the Raiders had uh, last year, obviously, a healthy Darren Waller uh, certainly helps. There's high aspirations for the Las Vegas Raiders, and I think everybody wants to get off on the right foot. Uh, and that includes showing up. You know, we know that Derek Carr is looking for a new contract. I'm sure Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro are in that same boat. And it doesn't look like any of them are using this offseason program as any sort of leverage to get their new contracts done. I think everybody feels good that eventually everyone's going to get rewarded. So right now it's about getting off to a good start and uh, building a foundation that they're going to be able to uh, continue to build on throughout the spring into the summer and, of course, the regular season. Well, you mentioned it, so I have to ask, what is the movement here? Where are we at? What's it looking like for Derek Carr and the contract that we know he's looking for? Yeah, not a lot to, to report right now. Um, you know, we spoke to Josh McDaniels in Florida and uh, Dave Ziegler at the owners meetings in Florida they're still looking for that sweet spot, um, you know, and, and as of right now, uh, whatever the sweet spot is for the Raiders or whatever the sweet spot is for Derek Carr, uh, they're on, they have two different sweet spots, so to speak, right now. Uh, somehow, some way, they're going to have to find that common ground and that middle ground that, uh, you know, uh, allows for a deal to be made. I would suspect that that's going to happen from everything that I'm hearing right now. Uh, no one expects any drama or for this to get ugly. Um, so it's just a matter of, both sides kind of working out an agreement that fits either side's needs, especially financially. And that's really what we're talking about right now. What is that financial sweet spot going to look like for both sides? Great stuff as always, Vinny. Thank you so much. Once again, the Raiders off-season program is underway. Vinny will be keeping us up to date on everything you need to know about the silver and black over at VegasNation.com. He is Vinny Bonsignor. I'm Cassie Soto. Thank you so much for watching.